In this video, we want to show how you can let your end users, your uh, Salesforce users, fill in an, uh, uh, a form butter uh, form directly in a flow, in a screen flow. Okay, so step one is we need, of course, to generate a pack. And in this pack, we're going to link that to our uh, form butler.config. So uh, the .config that has the, uh, the form fields. And then we need to create an actionable. So in this actionable, the only thing that we need to take care of or that we really have to double check is that it's a uh, form butler uh, now actionable. Means that uh, there is no need to send out an email. Uh, it will immediately load the form request uh, on demand so this is form butter now uh, so we're not going to send out an email so all of this information is not required uh, it has to be active be careful of that one and then of course we're going to use a, the, the action uh, use attached because yeah we don't want to generate it it uh, uh, we're going to fill it in directly on the screen and then uh, well here you have to specify the document again and then which is the api field for Form Butler to uh, link to this, the record that you want to work from. In this case, we're going to link from an opportunity. So I've created a lookup on the Form Butler request uh, object to the opportunity, and I named it opportunity underscore underscore say. That's the API name of the field that I created there. Okay, so <clears throat> that being done, let's create a flow. In this flow, I'm going to set some variables. And I guess you're going to do a much better job than I do because I'm going to hard code it just to prove that, uh, yeah, you can work with variables. Uh, but I guess that you're going to have a more complete flow that will actually select the record, select the information. Uh, maybe it's a record, uh, maybe the flow is linked to a certain record and then you're going to use that record. But here it's all hard coded just for uh, making sure that we can uh, show that it's done. It's just a, a, a demo here, of course. So your own flow would be uh, would be much smarter in selecting all of this information. I'm just going to hard code it here. So the pack ID, you see me copying it from the pack. So I just use this one and then I put it here. In your case, you're gonna probably gonna do a select a get records in the flow to actually get the pack that you want. Okay, this is now done. So next step is we're gonna create a screen to uh, um, yeah to complete this. So edit screen. So I already have a screen here, uh, and the only thing I need to do is drag and drop the form in the form butter inline editor right here. So I have to give it a name, of course, in line, I'm going to call it form butler in line editor. Uh, I'm going to set a frame height. So that's the amount of pixels in height that you want to show on the screen. I'm going to put this to 600. Uh, the pack ID is going to be my variable for pack ID. And then the flow, the record ID that I want to work with is going to be my variable record ID. So that's the only thing that you need to set. So everything is now done. and now. If I save this one, activate it. Next step is I'm going to create a button uh, on my opportunity. A button, an action. There, actually, it's an action, of course, because uh, it has to run a flow. So I'm going to create a new action. Uh, it's going to run a flow. So it's going to indeed run the screen flow on the opportunity for Form Butler. The label is going to be a uh, screen. Uh, oh no, uh, form butler, butler inline editor. Okay, so let's save this and let's add this button to the page layout. Add this action, sorry, to the page layout. I'm going to go to the opportunity layout. <clears throat> going to go for the quick actions. Um, so this is going to be form butter inline editor. Yep. Okay. And let's add it here at the end. Okay. So save. Yes. If I now refresh my page here. Now let me click the button that we have just added. So for the inline editor. So it will show the, uh, uh, the component with a height of 600 pixels. And as you can see, it will immediately show the form that I have created here. So I can now say uh, other steps here, for instance, um, I can pick a different date, uh, uh, make all the changes that are required, 
and then well that's uh that's about it that's what you would expect from uh, from form butler then i can just submit it <clears throat> and all my changes would reflect in salesforce and next to that i would also have a file of this uh, as you can see here of the changes that we have uh, just done so this is what i've checked this is the date i've set the other steps that i have uh, put in there so all of that information is now there that's it